when I'm back, well, I got the parts. I'm happy. Some really nice people in there, man. Um, boy, I got to tell you, if there was any reason to live in this area, it would be because of the people. I find that all the people running the stores, all the rest of it, are just the nicest, nicest, friendliest, helpful people. I'm not saying they're not like that around my area, but I just notice an extra, extra something to them. Oh, I'm trying to push the uh, cruise control and I forgot to turn the cruise control on. There we go. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, it says it's 103 kilometers to Tobermory from here. So I just went 35, so it's 65 kilometers and approximately from, that's not bad at all. The lad at the fucking, sorry, the lad, I get all excited, eh? Um, the lad at the, uh, the d dealership there told me that the ATV trails here, and he said the name, I'll have to look it up on the map now, but he uh, was saying that you can go all the way to Orangeville, which is quite a piece south of here. So, oh, I went over a minute already. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyways, I was going to do one of those one-minute things, but I guess I missed it. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, uh, yeah, so trails go all the way to Orangeville from here. I, I almost wonder how much further than that. He just said, well, I go to Orangeville, and he's done the run. And he says that people will come from down there, skidoos, everything in the winter, and they'll come up and stay at the Best Western here on this end of town because I guess the trails could come right here, right? So anyway, there's that place, Elsie's Diner. That taste of the 50s, I love it. Um, I was hungrier, I would uh, stop in, get a greasy breakfast, but I don't feel like it. Um, that would be an interesting ride. And he knew too, as soon as I said, like, you know, I've been looking at your trail system and checking out the club here, the South Bruce, you know, ATV club and everything. I said, you guys are doing some amazing, amazing stuff down here. He knew. He's like, oh yeah. So I said, I, you know, I hear tell now and I, what I look at to see, I said, it looks like I can go all the way to Tobermory on my bike now. He says, yeah. I mean, there wasn't even hesitation. Like he knew his name is, um, Nick Bosnak, B-O-S-N-J-A-K, Bosnak, Bosnak. Anyway, nice guy, about eight years younger than me, so we kind of have the same, you know, trip in our heads going on. Yeah, this, this looks like it's gonna be definitely the all day rain. Well, I, I mean, there's a break. I know this was coming through, and then there was a break, which, which should be sunny and whatever, and uh, and then there's more coming after that. Now, it says it's going into Sunday, so it's either moving very, very slow, or they're not accurate, because once this next system comes through, it's wide open, sunny weather again. So, I don't know. But from the look of this, anyways, I'm not worried. I mean, I'm completely rain rain checked rain proof to whatever back at the back at the trailer <laughs> back at the campsite I miss my cats I don't know why this year more the more the more than ever I'm missing my cats Jeff's going over tonight or tomorrow to go check on them fill up their feeders and you know clean their poop box and all that I just want to make sure they're okay should have set up the camera. I have a Logitech camera I could have put on the PC. I put it on the TV and aim it to where I know they're going to be on the couch and just I can keep an eye on them and I never thought. So I could just turn on the, I, could, I mean I, I can access the computer back at the camp but you know put music on or change things for them but um, I left, I should check actually because I left CNN on 
I think I'll turn that off and just put some music on for them. I don't think I can run Spotify here and at the camp at the same time. I had trouble with that before, I think. Put some podcasts on. His voice is a... Eh? They're used to, uh, the cats are used to voices and music, right? So, see how nasty dark this is? I, I don't think the phone is really, well, it is, it looks pretty dark. But, I mean, it's dark. Really dark. Like, everybody's headlights are on like it's dark. Well, it's not dark like night dark, but it's like, you know, this would be considered uh, early evening. So the cloud cover is really, really thick. So we're headed straight for the dealer. Probably get wet unloading it now, but nothing I can do. 100% pure fiber internet. Well, what other kind is there? I see these big signs, 100% pure. What is there, unpure fiber internet? I don't even know what the fuck that means. You know, there's a lot of empty places down here. I'll tell you, and I've seen some prices on places that are for sale, and it's like, wow, this should be a lot more expensive. If I was so, if I wasn't so dead set on owning property again, be like when I sell there, buy something here close to the lake. Of course, the closer to the lake, the more expensive you get, but. I'm not looking for a new place, I'm looking for a dumpy little cottagey kind of place. If, I'm not, I shouldn't say I'm looking, I'm not looking. If I were to stumble on something very interesting, I might consider it just to have a base of operations. I have talked about this before. You know, I thought about doing it on a little lake, you know, around Lanark, but I don't know. It's hard to decide that stuff when you don't know when, like, I know, like before, it was like if, and I mean, it was always not an if. I knew eventually I'm gonna lose my mom. I mean, obviously we all die, right? But like, I didn't expect the memory thing, so I'm not gonna be able to keep her in the house as, as long as I thought I might. So, I'm not too happy. Oh, Jesus, what's, I saw something raising up on that guy's uh, Winnebago, I don't know what that was all about. Anyways, um, yeah, I didn't expect that I'm going to probably have to put her in a place where she's, you know, it's not going to be safe to keep her in the house. I didn't expect that. God, it's getting even darker. Holy shit. What's next? Tornadoes? I shouldn't say that. I, mean, I remember last year, the reason I was, got the bus and I was all upset was because, you know, lightning storm and everything and they're calling for thunderstorms so thankfully I'm in that other campsite where I feel a lot safer <laughs> and the leaves are making a big difference like they're definitely breaking you know they're definitely keeping the rain uh, fall from being super hard so I'm pretty happy about that yeah I'm not going to film once I come into uh, see here Shadow Lake. This is where that gas station was um, that the guy, the old fellow, looked like Santa Claus, kind of. He, uh, well, I've told the story already. But anyways, I don't think I was filming when I came through here. But, uh, yeah, I didn't expect my boat to get fixed. Like, I was in a bad spot and stopped in there because I saw outboards. And I thought, oh, you know what, I mean, it's, he's, you know, super... Like old school here, there's no way he's gonna have a part for me for this motor, you know, or you'll have to order it and it'll be a week and I won't have the boat for fishing here and everything. Nope, he fixed it up right away. I was like, right fucking on. I'll show you the place. It's the only gas station in this little village here. Too bad he's far away because he's only a dollar fifty-nine, eh? But again, you know, save uh what is a dollar sixty-two? So three cents a liter. But drive here and spend what twenty dollars in gas to come get gas for the boat doesn't make any sense. Here he is here, right? Well, there's see a dollar fifty-nine. Can you guys see that? 
Not where the Harley is on the wall. I don't know what that is. I guess that's a Harley dealership. But uh, right here, okay, so we just passed it. I don't know if that's still him or not. Oh, it does look like him. There's an older fella that looked like, I'm almost sure that was him there. So he's still alive after all these years. That That's good to know. I'll have to stop in and go, hey, I remember I went to Amici's Coffee House. I heard that that's, you can go there for wireless. I don't really need it though. The, the connection's been good. Oh yeah, so the Telus guy, I called Telus to delay the bill uh, till the end of the month, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, turns out for $5 more a month, they'll give me another 100 gigabytes of, of data transfer, because I had 100. So they changed my plan and for the difference of five bucks, I now get 200 a month. Now, I don't ever use it because I'm whenever I'm using the internet, 99% of the time I'm back at the trailer. So I'm using, you know, my wireless to my, my, you know, my Starlink internet. So it doesn't use up the gigabytes. But here, obviously I'm using it. But yeah, I was like, holy crap, right on. Those guys, when I called, oh, it's 11 minutes. Okay, I'll talk to you guys after. Uh, thanks for coming as always and uh, if you want to see more um, I'll do like the one minute at the end of this one so it'll end at 12 minutes um, if you want to see the rest of the videos and stuff like that you have to go to YouTube I'm only going to be putting parts of these videos on TikTok and Instagram Facebook and uh, what's the other one Twitter or X but if you want to see the full videos well you got to go to YouTube or Rumble rumble.com slash the letter C slash Lad from the woods. I don't put the letter C in there. That's something that Rumble does. They need to get rid of that system. Okay, everyone, be good to your fellow human. Peace, long life, live long and prosper. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.